I'm Randy and I make candy and tonight I'm making potatoes. Stick around. <laughs> Greetings, my confectionery compadres, and welcome to Randy Makes Candy, where I help you make tasty treats that people love to eat. Next week is St. Patrick's Day, and I was trying to figure out what to make to commemorate this special day when I happened upon a recipe that caused me to stop and do a double take. Irish potato candy. Now, there is a potato candy that uses actual potatoes in the recipe, and we're going to make that one of these days, but this isn't that. This is more of a buttercream mounds bar that looks like a potato. It looks so quirky and fun that I just had to try it. As always, I'd love to hear about your results if you decide to make your own Irish potato candy, as well as suggestions for other recipes you'd like to see in future videos. For this recipe, you'll need two ounces of room temperature cream cheese, two tablespoons of room temperature unsalted butter, one half teaspoon of vanilla extract, Quick note, a friend of ours made some vanilla and gave it to us for Christmas. That's what I'm using here. If you've ever watched Ina Garden, the Barefoot Contessa, you'll know that she always recommends the good vanilla. Well, this is the good vanilla right here. Thanks, Tracy. Back to the recipe. We're using 1 16th of a teaspoon of salt, 2 cups of powdered sugar, 4 ounces of sweetened coconut, 2 tablespoons of granulated sugar, 2 tablespoons of unsweetened cocoa powder, one quarter cup of ground cinnamon, and if you're a little bit extra, like me, some pine nuts. You'll also need a mixer, a couple of bowls, a spatula, a scoop or a spoon, a cutting board, and some parchment, foil, or waxed paper. Okay, let's make some candy. In a mixing bowl, add the cream cheese, butter, vanilla, and salt. Beat it on medium speed until it's well mixed and fluffy, scraping the sides as needed. Turn the mixer to low speed and gradually add the powdered sugar. Increase the speed to medium and mix until the powdered sugar is fully incorporated, again scraping the sides as needed. Add the coconut and beat on low speed until it's combined. Scoop the mixture onto the baking sheet. While you're more than welcome to make these russet sized, I'm going to go for something a little smaller. Put them in the refrigerator for about half an hour to let them firm up. Whisk together the granulated sugar, cinnamon, and cocoa powder in a shallow bowl. Roll one of the pieces into a potato shape and roll it in the cinnamon mixture, ensuring complete coverage. Here's where we go extra. We're going to give our potatoes eyes by taking a few pine nuts and pressing them into the candy. Repeat this process with the remaining pieces. And that's it. Okay, let's give it a try. Slanchiva. If I'm honest, I didn't make these for the flavor. I made them because they're silly and kind of awesome. But they turned out to be really tasty. Smooth and creamy filling, along with that chewiness of the coconut. 
The filling has a lot of sweetness from all the powdered sugar, but it's pulled back by the cream cheese and the cocoa powder, which brings some tang and a little bitterness to the party. And the cinnamon coating adds a really interesting flavor profile. It's not overpowering, but it's enough to make me go, hmm. I'll tell you, I couldn't be happier with the way these turned out. I think even the leprechauns would agree that you really ought to try these. If you enjoyed your time here in the candy kitchen, please like, share, and subscribe. Thanks for sticking around, and I hope you'll join me next time. One half teaspoon of vanilla extract. <laughs> extract? If you've ever watched Ina Garten, the... If you've ever watched Ina Garten, the bear...